Hey there YouTube, all you sim racers out there. Uh, just want to do a real quick video to show you a uh, down and dirty, real easy, cheap mod I came up with for the uh, Logitech Driving Force GT pedals. Um, you know, the, the Driving Force GT pedal and steering wheel kit for what you're getting, uh, you know, great value. Uh, it's sort of a mid-range budget kind of wheel and pedal set. You can certainly spend a lot more money uh, on pedals and, and uh, wheel, but uh, for this price range, you know, it's kind of hard to beat this. Uh, but by far, the, the weak part of the whole uh, kit, you know, the, the wheel and pedals, has got to be the, the brake pedal. Um, you know, a lot of people out on the internet, I'm reading a lot of po forum posts and watching videos on YouTube, uh, people really not kind of digging, uh, you know, the sort of unnatural feel uh, of the brake pedal. Um, the steer, you know, the, the, the gas pedal, you know, that's one thing, uh, it's kind of hard to mess that up. Um, but you know, people are out there modding uh, the pedals to try to come up with that feel, you know, that sort of natural feel that we get in the car. Um, and, you know, I've seen all kinds of crazy things. Uh, you know, the common one you're going to see out there, I've seen a lot, is people are taking like the foam golf balls or racket balls or handballs, the rubber handballs, and they'll jam down in this slot and get it under the pedal somewhere. Uh, and that gives them a little bit more resistance as they start to push on the pedal. And, and that seems to be you know, the most popular one everyone's using. Uh, the other one, you know, people are wrapping bungee cords around here and hooking them underneath and all crazy stuff. I've seen people with bicycle tubes wrapped around here. Some One guy has a sort of wood contraption with a bracket and some sort of adjustment rod. All kinds of crazy stuff. Um, the most unique one I saw, somebody took a rubber duck and, and jammed down in there with his little head sticking out. Uh, you know, that's clever. I don't know exactly what we're looking for. Um, but, you know, I'm all about simple. You know, some of the more guys really into it and, and aren't afraid to take things apart, they'll tear these apart and they'll stretch the spring on the brake pedal. Uh, or they'll mod it, put another spring in there, or do something to try to make it a little bit better. That's great. Um, if that's what you're into, fine. You know, I'm all about simple. You know, I like to do simple things, that, you know, very quick, doesn't take a lot of time, and certainly doesn't void the warranty, and if I decide to sell it later, you know, it's something I haven't damaged it, and it's still in good shape. So this is what I came up with. Basically, it's a piece of foam rubber that I've cut with a pair of scissors into sort of a modified triangle shape. You know, it kind of looks like a doorstop or a shoe. Um, but it's, yeah, I know it's pink. But really, it just piece of foam rubber. Uh, we get this at work. I work in IT and this comes in all of our uh, server boxes. Uh, you know, from our big, especially the Dell servers. They pack the servers in this and we get them in to put them in our data center. Uh, we throw this stuff away. Uh, we, we pitch sheets of this. It comes in big, like, you know, 12 by 20 inch sheets. We throw it out. Uh, we get, you know, new servers in all the time. We're pitching them out. You know, I bring it home and, uh, you know, just keep it out in, in the garage and use it for, well, stuff like this. Um, but it's real easy. And, and the nice thing about this over the foam ball um, is a ball is, well, a ball, and it's always going to be a ball. So whenever you put it in there, I mean, it can move around a little bit. Uh, if you don't get exact size, it's going to move from the front to the back a little bit. You know, you could change uh, your brake pressure. Uh, also, it's a ball, which means it's already going to have resistance, you know, pretty much the whole way through the pedal. Uh, you know, all the cars I've driven, and I actually used to race amateur um, racing way back in the day in real cars, and, you know, the pedals in those, a lot of times, the, the very first inch, two inches of that pedal, there's almost nothing. Uh, sometimes you actually have to pump the brakes up in those to make sure you got brakes going into a corner. So I was looking for that feel. So that's what you kind of get with this. And you can shape this. The nice thing is I can shape this. Unlike a ball, I can make this any shape I want. So if I wanted a little bit more resistance uh, at the tail end, you know, I want to make this section taller because, you know, this is sort of an L shape the way the uh, pedal is made. So, you know, if I'm following that kind of same shape here, I, the taller I make this or the, the thicker I make this in here, the more resistance I'm going to have at the end of the pedal travel. And the shallower I make this area of it, uh, the less resistance I'm going to have in the beginning of the pedal travel. Um, but you can really tailor this. You know, you buy a big enough sheet of this for a few dollars, you can tailor this and make it into any shape you want that, you know, is going for that, that feel you're really wanting in a brake pedal. Um, so you can play around. I think it took me two or three times, you know, to come up with a shape I was happy with. Uh, one of the earlier ones was just a little bit smaller, um, and it worked really well, but I decided I wanted just a little bit more resistance throughout the pedal travel. So I just made it sort of an elongated one, a little bit taller, a little bit longer, and that really tweaked it in and got it what I was looking for. Uh, the only other thing I thought about doing was humping up sort of a, you know, a little bulge here in the middle. That'll give it a little bit more, uh, you know, resistance in the middle part of the, the pedal. But overall, I'm really happy with what this has done. Uh, it just so happens that this foam we had in was the same exact thickness uh, as the, uh, the pedal, you know, sort of chamber here. So that was just luck, but, uh, you know, it worked out. You know, putting it in, real simple. You just fit it down in there. 
And I kind of hook my finger under there and just push it to make sure I'm getting it the whole way forward. But then really just tuck it in. And that's all there is to it. It just sits in there. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't come out. Uh, it doesn't get caught on the sides. Uh, there's really nothing more to it than that. And what that does is it gives me a real nice, you know, still have, you know, fairly easy. It's a little bit more tension uh, in the first like inch of it. But after that first inch, you can really start to feel the pressure coming in. And I almost have to use two hands to kind of push it and get it the whole way to the bottom. But it'll compress up real, real tight and, and you will get to the bottom of that. Um, I've never had a problem calibrating it. I always get full, uh, full on braking, but it has a real nice progressive feel. So the further you push it, the harder it gets. Uh, and that's exactly what I was looking for uh, in a mod. And like I said, I, I didn't really like uh, you know, the, the ball concept because I didn't think that was going to give me that progressive feel I was looking for. Uh, I didn't want bungee cords all draped around the pedals where my feet are going to get caught up in it. And, you know, and heaven forbid that, you know, I, uh, you know, the cable would pop off in the middle of a race and, and you'd lose that. So, you know, all things like that. I like simple, you know, down and dirty. I haven't modified the pedal. I didn't take them apart. I'm not going to scratch them. If I want to sell this later, I pop it out of there and I sell it and all is good. So anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I haven't seen anybody post anything like this out there. I thought I'd throw it out of what actually worked for me. And if it works for you, great. Uh, if you're happy with your foam golf balls, that's great. So I'll see you on your track. You guys are out there for the iRacing. Uh, maybe I'll uh, run into you one day, literally.